switch to stands vertical and there's not a heck of a lot of difference. So that's a 31 foot end fed halfway vertical compared to 135 foot off center fed dipole. Pretty interesting huh? <clears throat> that's France. Okay. Alright that's my antenna. There's yours. There's really no no perceptible difference. <laughs> now, this is on uh, 15 meters. What's the SWR on? Oh. on a, yeah, run through the uh, okay. run through all the all the bands. Okay. Run through all the bands. Let's look at the SWR. Okay. On my is, antenna. Okay, 15 on your antenna. One to one. One to one. All right. Let's go to uh, ten meters. That's that's and that's twenty four. That's what twelve. Oh, I'm sorry, twelve. Okay, let's tune it. One point four. Try it again. Try it again. One point two. Gets better every time. Let's go. Ah, I like it better before. <laughs> one to one. One point one. Try it again. Let's just see if it hold it down. All right, somewhere between 1.1, 1 .1, 1 1.4. Yeah. Go to go to 10 now. Uh. Okay. Uh, let, me, let me tune it up a little bit to the bayonet. Yeah. It'll probably. Oh wait a minute, that was mine. Ooh, what's going on here? Is that mine? Uh, no, it's mine. Okay. All right. No, that's yours, isn't it? No. One point one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you're on antenna one. Okay. I'm on antenna two. Right. All right. Okay. So that was one point one. So let's see. Now we did ten, twelve, fifteen. What about seventeen meters? Oh, okay. Let's uh, try them all. Try them all. I, 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 uh, here's forty. Okay. Are we on the antenna? One or two? mine. Okay, 40 meters. Now that doesn't surprise me because it's an end fed half wave on 20. It shouldn't work well okay. on 40. Okay, right, we got 1.4 twice. Okay. Okay. It's, thir it's 30. I should I should tune it up up into the band somewhat. Well, it's yeah. very broad though. To be this end fed's very broad. Okay. It covers the entire band once okay. you tune it anywhere in it. This is yours. There's 20 meters. One to one. It should be one to one. It's an end fed 20 meter okay. half wave. Yeah. 1868. Let's go up a little bit. Oh wait a minute. That that's mine. That was yours. One to one. Here's yours. One to one to one. <laughs> and that we got. That that one we got. Yeah. So we're anywhere between 1.1 1 .1 to 1 1.3, except that 1. Point, that that 1.4 that keeps changing to 1.2. Yeah. Yeah. That's your antenna. Okay. It is it is noticeably stronger with mine on that one. On 15 meters. On 15. But, but no. you see, not there. You know, I've I've not found a heck of a lot. Yeah, but I've also found that uh, that some signals come in better on the vertical than the, than my doublet, mm -hmm. and some better on a doublet than a vertical. But I mean, 
in essence, that's really what I'm looking for. Yeah. I, I want I want the omnidirectionality of the vertical because I can't move my freaking attic. That's your antenna. That's mine. Not a whole lot of difference. Do that again with the. Uh, we'll look at the S meter. He's coming up. I'd say what about an S unit? Not an S unit. About 6 dB then. 6 dB. Huh. Not bad considering Not we're bad. looking at 135 feet of wire that's up in the clear and 31 feet that's sitting on your back deck next to the house in a bird feeder. <laughs> Let's see, did we, yeah, we did this, right? But We did what? 24? Oh, yeah, we did 24. There, there was a PJ7 slash K4 UWH, which he was so weak, I couldn't, I couldn't get him. Where'd they go? I told you I got uh, this. This may be him. I got TU two T last yeah, night on this. Yeah. Uh, this is the last day for him. That's right. No, is it doesn't it go till November eleventh? TU seventh. Okay. All right. Today, today's the last. Man, day. I was lucky then. You yeah. Uh. Come on. <laughs> This is your antenna? Yes. Okay. What about an S unit? About an S unit. I can live with that. Boy, I would say so. So what do you think? You're going to go for it, Tony? You're going to put one up? <laughs> uh, I, I, I'm still th thinking of that long wire. Yeah. The real long wire. Since I have the room. Mm -hmm. All right, very good. Good test. Okay, this is the uh, NFED half wave vertical aerial. It's 31 feet to the tip top, and it's sitting on Tony W1ZMB's back deck here. And we just finished doing a comparison of his, uh, there it is, way up there, his 135 foot long off center fed dipole. Take uh, a and it, shot up there. And his elevation is, uh, what, there goes, there's that wire, that's a long wire. His elevation here is about a thousand feet uh, above sea level. Take a shot of of that one. Which one? The other one. Oh yeah, and then he's got uh, That's the one we were using. Okay, this is the one we were using here. He's got crossed 135 foot OCF dipoles. So they're up there. I mean, yeah, we were, we did a pretty good comparison here today of a real a real professional antenna, tried and proven one compared to this aerial. And I call it an aerial because this is a really old design. It's been around a long time. And it seems to be uh, it seems to be regaining some popularity amongst uh, the QRP crowd who don't have too much power to squander. So what I did is, of course, I took the basic idea and then I put this together using an umbrella stand down here, a nice heavy umbrella stand in which there's this. 31 foot long MFJ fiberglass pole that collapses to a little over three and a half feet. Over here is a 9-1 transformer I got from uh, the Honolulu Emergency Radio Group, EARC, uh, on the internet. The plans are published. I could have built it. It uses a two, uh, T106 uh, to toroid uh, trifilar winding 22 gauge wire. And uh, I found it easier to just buy this one. That's all there is to it. 
that's it. And I'm able to use this antenna on 40 meters through 10 meters where the SWR is generally one to one at its worst maybe 1.3 1.4 the nice thing about this is it represents the opportunity for someone who wants to operate portable or someone like me who's retired downsize and lives in a townhouse and has to deal with antenna restrictions and homeowner association rules and even local uh, covenants regarding antenna installations it affords me the opportunity to get full size performance from a package like this that really doesn't weigh much and doesn't take a whole lot of effort to put up and take down and I'm going to demonstrate right now. Tony's going to take the camera and follow me as I take this antenna down. The first thing I'm going to do is simply uh, unscrew the coax cable and get it out of the way. And then I'm going to give a little twist and you're going to see how each section comes down so nicely and so quickly. From a 31 foot height, actually it's a 33 foot pole, I keep saying 31. The antenna is 31 feet, because 31 feet comes out to 0.47 wavelength for uh, 20 meters. And that gives me a, a, a half a wavelength, electrical half wavelength. 0.47 wavelength on 20 is 31 feet. That didn't take too long, did it? <laughs> And a caveman could do this. <laughs> now it's it's knotted up here, so it's not going anywhere. So all I have to do now, folks, is start winding the wire on these little homemade clips here. Watch this. This is a lot easier actually than uh, trying to mess around with uh, fly rod reel or something like that. That puts a lot of strain on the wire when you keep. Uh, you know, reeling it in and out, uh, this gives me a larger circle, if you will. Protects my my 20 gauge wire. And I got a little uh, cap here that uh, goes in the top slit so that it clears the antenna wire. And then I got this little piece of book and loop which as you can see just goes around here and make sure that the uh, the wire and then I pick up my antenna and I put it in the car that's all you got to do that's it full-size performance for the portable guy full-size performance for the person who can't have an outside antenna like Tony's <laughs> And as the uh, earlier portion of the video showed, it's damn near just as good. What would we come out with about 6 dB difference on the average? Just about. Just yep. about. It's yeah. In some respects, it is as good. Yeah. Total amount of money invested? Well, I got this at a garage sale, the base. I don't know what they go for. The pole was $79.95 and $18 shipping from MFJ. So that was nearly $100. This was uh, this little matching transformer, or the uh, the nine one transformer. This was forty four dollars shipped from Hawaii, uh, but you can order the core, go out the Radio Shack, get the twenty two gauge wire, and make it yourself because the plans are available on the internet from E A R C. And uh, the wire, well, that came from P and G up in uh, Kingston, got a hundred feet for eight bucks. So that's it. It's a uh, a lot cheaper than some of the other alternatives out there and the best part is I'm not heating a loading coil. <laughs> My uh, measly QRP RF is all being uh, used effectively, efficiently and in a repeatable manner and I kind of like that. Thank you. Good DX.